Hey guys, Bobo Rail here, and today we're going to be breaking down the trailer for the new game in the World War One series lineup, Isanzo. Alright, so before we start, let me shout out this guy from the Reddit because I was halfway through editing this video when I saw his post, but nonetheless, I feel happy to see someone else had the same idea as me, and that we were both motivated to get this information out there. So, big thanks to him. But without further delay, let's get straight into this because there's a lot to unpack for an only 50 second trailer. So let's start from the top. The opening scene of this trailer shows an Italian soldier climbing up a mountain with skis on his back. If you don't already know, the game will be set on the Italian front of the war, and so the two confirmed forces to be in the game are the Italians and the Austro-Hungarians. As for this scene, it makes me wonder if these skis will be functional in some way or if they'll just be purely cosmetic. But we'll just have to wait and see for that. So as he climbs up, he's almost immediately shot, but the soldier next to him is holding a pistol. This is hard to make out because it's only on screen for about a frame, but my guess is it would be a Beretta Model 1915. Next, it cuts the scene from the Austro-Hungarian perspective, where we see them using a, pardon my pronunciation here, but a Schwarzlos? Schwarzlos machine gun? And in general, I would guess that we can expect to see a map with this kind of level design. Really steep cliffs with these kinds of winding trails would be completely new to the game series in terms of terrain, and I think it will change the gameplay in a very interesting way if added. We then see a large Italian bomber taking out the position, which would make me guess that we'll be getting bombers or strafes as a squad leader ability, but once again we'll just have to wait and see. Now we see an Austro-Hungarian soldier working some kind of small artillery piece, potentially hinting at usable artillery in the future. And it makes me really wonder if the devs are going to continue to support the other two older games, because I feel like Tannenberg in particular would work really well with usable artillery. After this, we see an Italian soldier using a pair of bolt cutters to break through some barbed wire. And next to him, his comrade is holding another kind of long wire cutters called a Malfatti. This to me says we will most likely see some form of wire cutting device in gameplay, which seems really nice for opening up new push routes. Something else to know is he's wearing armor. I'm wondering if this is only cosmetic or if it will have some sort of ballistic or melee protection. If it does, I really hope they end up counterbalancing it with say a movement speed decrease, but once again, we'll just have to wait. Now something that isn't really important but I found a little interesting is this blue bottle. I'm not sure if m maybe this is a specific wine or something that could be hinting at a particular region. That's just kind of a shot in the dark and it's also very possible that this is just a random asset though. So yeah, it's probably just me overanalyzing. Here we see what I believe to be a Carcano rifle, as expected seeing as both of the other games are dominated by bolt actions. And then we see what is most certainly a Fiat Ravelli machine gun. Now this next scene has a lot of interesting stuff about it. The most obvious being a rifle grenade, which I'm super excited for, and I think it will add some really awesome opportunities to clear out areas of enemies. But the other things to talk about are the fact that this is the first city environment we've entered in this game series. And I'm really interested to see how this is going to play, and how many of these buildings are actually going to be accessible. The last thing here is a sign on the left reading Giuseppe Gescuti. When I put this into Google, the fourth result down is an internet archive of a 1916 Italian soldier report. There was way too much to read here for me to fully break down, but it seems to describe the battle for a city, and I wouldn't be surprised if the developers used first-hand accounts to build the levels of the game. If you guys are interested in reading and translating that yourselves, that'll be linked down below. Here we see yet another example of an Austrian Schwarzlos machine gun, so I would imagine this will be the main stationary gun for the Austrian team. And then, in the next slide, we see an Italian soldier firing a Vilar Perosa. This is really awesome to see, as it's such a unique looking gun, and I would say if we have this, we're also likely to see the Beretta model 1918, depending on how late in the war the game depicts. And now, the final scene of the trailer, we see a soldier holding what I believe to be a Hungarian Frommerstop pistol, and a bridge in the background being blown up. Now this might be a bit of a stretch, but this could mean that the next game will have some form of destructible environment. Maybe something similar to Battlefield 4's Levolution where a scripted large scale event could be triggered by the players. But remember all of this is just speculation with the given evidence from the trailer. So take everything I say with a grain of salt and it's most likely going to change before the game releases. But I figured this was a good video to just present everything that I saw in the trailer and break it down for everybody who might have missed it. 
Anyways, that's all I've got for this. If you guys would like to see more content covering the World War One game series, be sure to subscribe to this, the Christopher Beast channel, as well as my personal channel, Bobo Rail, which will also be linked down below. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.